Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market is going to the moon, man. This is what we expected to happen after yesterday when a lot of people got on the full game for the first time with the early access, with the pre-order FIFA points, with that supply and with those coins hitting the market. It is basically doing what we thought it was going to do. So what I want to do tonight into this morning is look at the market again, how some prices really peaked yesterday, but how I also think that it's not done, right? A lot of people made a lot of coins yesterday, myself included. This market is definitely going higher and there's more coins on this game to support these higher prices as people are building teams with no more gameplay restrictions, no more 10 hour time limits. They're on the full game. So I wanna talk about that. We actually had our first SBC player of FIFA 22 yesterday with the Jared and Shakiri ones to watch SBC. I want to talk about that for a little bit as well. And also what I expect with the market in the next day or so as we head into Tuesday, into Wednesday, just kind of what I'm thinking because Friday is another monumental date on this game. So let's talk about it first, right? Yesterday, huge market rise continued. We saw it start Sunday night and it continued into the day on Monday and throughout the whole entirety of the day, right? A lot of these cards went up big time and we're going to look at a lot of graphs. As you can see here, I bought a lot of cards. You guys knew the cards that I bought last night. I bought Timo Werner's at 39,000 coins. I sold all those today for, for 50 to 52,000 coins a piece. I bought Phil Foden's for 18 to 19K. I sold those between 27 and 30,000 coins. Usman Dembele bought for 50K, sold at 70. There were some huge, huge price rises along with some of these chemistry style flips and other trades in here. The the buys that we made yesterday, I bought the Sterling at 53K to up to 70,000 coins. Big, big market fluctuations. As a lot of you guys know, these prices absolutely boomed yesterday. Let's take a look at a few of them from yesterday that made such big price swings. And again, the reason these cards went up is because those FIFA points were opened. People got coins, they went out and they bought teams. A lot of lower tier cards got supplied so much through those FIFA points that they dropped off a lot, but the higher tier ones, higher rated ones really kept going because that's what people are putting in their team. So again, yesterday on Monday, we started kind of low. There was a really big peak late at night when I recorded the video last night, had a few price dips in the morning, but then with little to no content yesterday at 6 p.m., besides the Jared and Shakiri SBC, this stuff even went up further. You can see that Holland went back up to 106,000 coins. Now some stuff, this was the absolute peak. This late night, like 10 p.m. UK time was the absolute peak. That was when a lot of the EU um, kind of that, that demand kind of peaked for a lot of the cards. And now it's kind of trickled off a little bit, right? Usman Dembele, actually, I, I almost sold him at 75,000 coins. He was almost maxed out. He was 73K. I just got mine out at 70K. I do think this card could potentially go extinct today on Tuesday. I think that a lot of these cards are still going to continue to go up a little bit on this market on Tuesday because, again, we're not going to have that much supply other than preview packs unless EA Sports drops a pack supply SBC, which I wouldn't think is super duper likely, although they could. Content isn't flying out at this time of the year. It's kind of slow going since a lot of people are on the game yet. Um, but, you know, I just thought that this Usman, so much more expensive on PS than on Xbox when a lot of the market this year is actually Xbox is a little more expensive because PS has more supply. Uh, I just took the coins on Dembele because I was happy with my basically 20K profit on that card. But again, a huge rise. He started the day at even 61K ended up at 73. Now again, some of this stuff is down a little bit. I wouldn't advise buying Dembele because he's, you know, 5,000 coins away from his price max. But one thing you could be looking at when you're watching this video right now is look for some cards that, you know, like Timo Werner, 47,000 coins. As you saw on my transfer list, when he peaked up here right around 50,000 coins when I sold him, I got a couple sales at like 52K. There might be an opportunity, and I think this is very possible. Some of these cards are going to dip off a little bit tonight. If you can get a couple undercuts, either a snipe uh, or a couple open bids as well as we head into the day today on Tuesday, I think there's great potential for a lot of these cards to continue to go higher with less supply. The 4,600 FIFA points, a lot of people have opened those. I opened mine, right? A lot of you guys have opened yours, or people are saving them. They're going to be saving them for this Friday. And so I just think there's going to be continually more demand as people are, you know, getting packs from completing uh, the advanced SBCs or, you know, doing foot drafts, doing other SBCs to get packs, doing other objectives to get packs. I do think that you are going to see this stuff. There's little to no more supply. It's probably going to continue to trend up today into Tuesday 
on the market. So I would be watching out for tonight some of these cards that went up big that are maybe down a little bit. And as I'm looking across here, Abamyang was, I believe, up to almost 60,000 coins. It shows right now that he's back to 55. He was 57K. So, you know, if I saw this Abamyang back at like, if I could snag him at like 51 or 52K, I might think this Abamyang could still go up to 60,000 coins today. So I would keep a watchful eye on some of that stuff on the market. Now, again, I would focus on some of the higher tier and more meta cards. I think Lacroix as well. The, of course, one of the most popular Pacey center backs that is in this game, which I can't find him at the moment, so I'm just going to search him up. Uh, I believe Lacroix was somewhere around like 45Ks. He's actually down below 40 right now. Yesterday, he peaked at 46,000 coins, and right now he is actually down to 39,000 coins. So this might be a card that I would look at tonight. I know that he's very low rated, so there is some risk here with potentially, you know, just a little bit more supply coming in and, and people maybe feeling like he's not worth the coins right now on this game, but getting bought up to 46,000 coins and now he's back down to 39K, I would keep an eye on this, right? This would be a card I would keep an eye on as we head into the day today on Tuesday. Very hyped up card. Again, I do think that some of these cards with less supply than yesterday are gonna continue moving up on the market. Speaking of the supply yesterday, I opened up my 4,600 FIFA points. Uh, my best pulls, I had an Inform SAR. I don't even know if it's on my transfer list still, uh, but I did sell an Inform SAR for 37,000 coins or something like that. Yeah, I had cleared it. Um, but I packed I packed Ruben Diaz, Inform Bono, um, Inform SAR, and then um, Aspas, basically Aspas and Parejo. So, you know, I made probably about 60, 70, 80K if I sold everything from those 4,600 FIFA points, which was which was decent, right? Definitely some nice coins that we could use and, and helped me make some extra trades today with on top of the sales that we were getting, all of, all those cards that were just going up crazy, crazy high in price. Now, Jaren Shakiri, 7-9 rated SBC. According to Footbin, this SBC is coming in at around 17,000 coins, which doesn't seem that expensive, but it's 17,000 coins unless you really think that Shakiri is going to be uh, get a lot of informs this year. Some people are talking about he's under 80 rated, so he could get a featured team of the week. In fact, he will not get a featured team of the week because he has a once to watch item, and that was a caveat to the whole featured team of the week um, idea. So if Shakiri were to get an inform, it would only go up, to, I think they would make this card an 82, I believe. A 79 goes to an 82 rated inform, which in my opinion, he needs like two to three informs. Like he needs at least two informs really soon to get this card to a more usable level. The five star skills is nice, the work rates are not the best. Uh, and if he was like a central player, if he was a cam, I think more people would be interested in the SBC, but probably not the best SBC ever. But in all reality, it is our first ever SBC for a player SBC inside of FIFA 22, which is dope. It is nice to have that, and that is nice to be there. Now, I would watch out for maybe a little bit of objective content today, uh, maybe today or tomorrow. I think that I would expect to see a little bit more objective content. There's a couple things they said might be dropping. I don't know if we would get anything else once to watch related. That'll be something to keep an eye on, uh, like a once to watch objective people keep talking about. We'll see if that is something that does drop as well. But again, I just wanted to continue talking about, and even as we look forward into this week a little bit more, um, what, what can we kind of expect, right? Well, a lot of these cards, you can tell that a lot of the demand right now is people getting on the game and buying some of these cards for their team. So if you're trading position change, chemistry styles, um, and just, just trend trading with, with the hourly fluctuations that these cards have, right? Again, I was selling these Abamyangs for 59, 60,000 coins almost here on this Abamyang. That was a, a center attack in mid position change. You know, right now it shows them at 54K or that Lacroix card being down as it is. Seriously, I would watch for tonight some of those cards that are down and, you know, kind of see them rising back up. Now, I do want to give one kind of like word of caution, I guess I would say as well, one little heads heads up, if you will. Um, and, and just that is the fact that since we had all of this buy today, all this buying power, all these people that were buying cards, getting these items and putting them in their team or investing in them, you saw a lot of these cards peak, right? You saw a lot of these cards peak, like the Usman Dembele peak at 73,000 coins. A lot of these players, if you look at these graphs, 
that's kind of when their prices hit the highest point. Foden, 24K, I'm getting interested here, right? Because this guy, I was selling him at almost 30,000 coins right here, 27K. If I see like 22 or 23, I'm probably gonna go back in because I think he could definitely get back up to that 30K range today on Tuesday. But again, with all these people buying, there's gonna be a lot, just like we had prices drop um, on this stage, as we saw Foden, was like 20,000 coins, he dropped to 18K. It's probably not the best example. There's probably other ones out there that have a bigger uh, price fluctuation. Let's take a look at somebody like, um, hmm, who would be a good example here? Let's take a look at, you know what, let's look at Usman Nabeli. I think his price dropped off on the daily graph. Yeah, so he was 58K, went down to 51. So this drop off that we saw heading into basically Saturday and Sunday, when everybody was worried about the 4,600 FIFA points, I think what you're gonna see is another drop off in the market across the whole entire market on Wednesday night into Thursday as we get towards Friday. Because just like Monday with all the FIFA points that were open, and I'm just putting this out there, just starting to put this out there, we're gonna to continue to talk about it throughout the rest of the week. But I do fear that I think that the Wednesday night and the Thursday timeframe, people are gonna to start to sell some of this stuff off again, and there's gonna be more selling and the prices are going to drop once again. I know a lot of you guys probably don't want to hear that because you just bought some of these cards for your team. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo today, I think, was a huge mover in price. Like he was, He's 1.5 mil right now, and I believe that he was 1.3 mil at one point during the day yesterday, like a really, really low point where he was like under 1.4 mil. Now he's up to 1.5. Even if you bought some players like you know, more of just a, a general a general player that you added to your team. Let's say you, you bought like Aaron Juan Bissaka today, right? Um, Juan Bissaka, you're, you're, you know, you're adding to your team at like 25,000 coins. You're like, man, all right, now I get to play with Juan Bissaka for a little while. And then, you know, he'll, he'll last me a while. Well, yeah, but I do think there is going to be some price drop-offs as people expect more supply to hurt the market again, just kind of like it did with these 4,600 FIFA points when you saw them being opened like last night and you saw some dips in the market, that lower tier stuff is gonna get hit again and there's gonna be people that are selling cards as we get closer to that you know, Wednesday night, Thursday into Friday timeframe because they're gonna be worried about all the FIFA points open with the global release, the standard edition release, with ones to watch, of course, as well, and Foot Heroes being in packs on Friday. Friday is a huge, huge day of this week. So I just wanted to put this feeler out there. I know it's only Tuesday, and I know it seems early, and you're excited because you just bought some of these cards for your team, but I would be careful, and I would say that if you're somebody who likes to really micromanage your team, and you have some lower-rated cards that are in this new team that you just bought, I might be kind of careful because I do think there could be some prices falling into the day you know into like wednesday and into thursday so i know it's kind of a pain to keep selling and buying your team and again you kind of have to just you know find your balance with that are you okay with losing a couple thousand coins you know because yes some of these cards will go back even higher than they were right now than they are right now you know guys like bruno guys like kdb maybe hyunmin son veron ronaldo messi and bape neymar those cards are probably going to rise even more after friday but are they going to di again dip a little bit and get sold off and then you know of course rise back after that is is it worth it for you to sell the card before they hits that dip then buy it in the dip and then you know sell it later when it goes on for more or like i was saying earlier in the week some people were saying hey should i keep or sell timo Werner?" and i said hey the choice is up to you because you can either sell this card right now at 40 what if it was like he was basically like just under 50k right i was like you can either sell this right now at 40, 47,000 coins, you can buy it back when he drops down. He dropped all the way down to like 39, 38, 37,000 coins at his absolute lowest. And now he's back up into the high 40s, hit 50K, probably gonna continue to go higher. So it's kind of that same scenario, whereas yes, these cards are up, they're probably gonna drop a little bit again, but a lot of them are just gonna go right back up to even higher than they were. So you might just wanna ride it out this week. But again, I did wanna talk about that scenario and that situation. One thing to watch out for today is team of the week one goes out of packs uh, tomorrow on Wednesday, right? Today is Tuesday. New team of the weeks come out on Wednesday. Vinicius up big. Kimmich up big. Salah is up big. These cards fluctuate a ton. Sar is up a good amount as well, 37K. Keep an eye on some of these. And if you wanted to make any discard investments, team of the week one is usually a lot more rare. I know we have tons of supply this year. So unless EA changed the pack weight, team of the week one is usually one of the most rare team of the weeks on the game as they start requiring these for SBCs. 
you know, guys like this Garcia, guys like the, the Bono for sure. You know, if you've got a lot of coins, like I'm talking 500K plus, maybe even 300K plus, buy like a Bono, buy a David Garcia, maybe a, a Jekko, um, buy one, chuck it in the club because they are going to probably go up over, price, over time in price just as SBC start to come out and we start to have SBC fodder become a thing because we don't have a lot of SBCs right now. But again, just to kind of take a whole snapshot of what happened on the market yesterday on Monday, we started down here and we ended up up here. Huge swing, right? 85 points all the way up to 95. Now, of course, we've dropped back off a little bit. This is probably as people in the NA getting home from work in the evening, playing the game, opening their FIFA points. And then you're going to see again, as the EU wakes up, as the UK, all the European countries wake up, which is the predominant user base of this game, they're going to wake up, they're going to get on FIFA, start buying some cards again, upgrading their teams, grinding the game. And again, without any supply, I really think this stuff is probably going to peak higher than 95 today on Tuesday. It's just going to probably continue to go up. With that, with all of the packs that were open, it's very interesting to watch this number. This is the total number of auctions uh, on the market. Again, you can see this if you actually go into FIFA, and I'll show you in a second. But we had 7.4 million live transfers, and this was day one of the pre-order ultimate edition of FIFA fans that were on the game today. This is crazy, crazy high numbers of supply on the PS4. Of course, right now you can see we're at 2.1 live transfers. Of course, we are in the dead time in the market, in the, the night time when I'm recording this. But... I mean, that, that 7.4 million number, I mean, that's going to double and then some by the time we hit Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be a huge, huge amount of supply with all the packs that are going to be open for once to watch. People that put on FIFA points for that, people that have saved their 4,600 FIFA points, and all that sort of stuff. So watch this number. If you like numbers, just keep an eye on this live transfers number because it's very, very fun to watch as it does fluctuate throughout the day and as it kind of grows throughout the first couple weeks as people get onto the game of FIFA. So again, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a lot of trading, right? Since the market is high like this, it is a buyer's market. A lot of people are out buying teams. Position style or chemistry style and position change trading is absolutely fantastic. One of the cards that I did a little bit with today, and I'm sorry if, if, I'm, sorry if I'm ruining anybody's thunder with this, is Antoine Griezmann, because think about this Griezmann card, right? His position in game is a striker. His base card is a striker position, um, but people need to move into center attacking mid because he plays plays there a lot. He sells for a couple thousand coins more with the center attacking mid position change, a center mid position change. He sells for a couple thousand coins more. So cards like this that are used in multiple positions are perfect for some of these trading methods. That's 100% what I'd be doing right now. A lot of the cards that you see on my transfer list uh, are, you know, are used like these Tonys were center attacking mid bought at like eight, 17 to 18 K selling at 22 big dub. These canes, I bought, I bought these three canes right here. These three at 25 K I bought those for um, 19 or 20,000 coins a piece center attacking mid position change. One was actually a CDM sold back for 25,000 coins. Just even a little bit of an update on how my club is doing. I think I've got a, right around 900,000 coins of transfer, um, of actual coins at the moment. Transfer profit wise, we did hit 1.2 million today on the TP, which is a big dub 1.247. Huge amount of profit was made yesterday. I think I made about 300 K of TP. So I probably made about 250 K legit coins. So we are moving up, man. It feels good. We have a lot of coins. It's been a really, really great start to the year in, in terms of, of FIFA. Also, uh, I played my first games uh, of FIFA. This is my squad at the moment right now. Um, Bellingham, I'm running a 4-4-2. I'm not a pro player by any means, but we are 2-0 in Division 10 rivals, man. So the foot account is starting off well on the gameplay side of things as well. But that's kind of the update. Again, I want to kind of encompass it today. The market is absolutely booming. We had our first ever player SBC with the Shakiri, which was nice. A little bit. I just... I just think it's not worth spending your coins on right now. I don't think that card's going to get that many upgrades. But if you like collecting cards, maybe it's worth going for. And of course, market probably going a little bit higher today. You're going to have some opportunities to buy cards. But also, if you want to take the coins, it's a great opportunity to do so as well. And it's a great market to trade in. So let me know down below in the comments how many coins you made. If you did make some profits or if you just bought your team and you have a lot of cards that have gone up in value, that's really fun as well. Let me know down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Thank you for all the support in the re videos recently. It has been insane. It's been Nate the Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.